Okay, this video is to help people who are having problems with their DAISY 880 right out of the box. Um, it doesn't have to be right away. It can be over time too. You just don't hold your air pressure. But the complaints I hear about people getting their DAISY 880s out of the box and they're not working, it's not just the DAISY problem. So there's two solutions we're going to do here. And that is to give it a proper lubing, which a lot of people don't know how to even do that and what lube to use. And if that does not work for the seal on the pump head, we're going to actually replace the pump head. We're going to show you how to replace the seal on that pump head. And those are the two things that many times will get people going on their gun, including the one I have here. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so the pros say that on these pump guns, we should be using pill gun oil ideally. So let's take a look at that. Pill gun oil is 20 weight engine oil with the seal protectant in it. And that is made for pump guns. It's been around since the 80s. The pros, people with decades in the field say this is what you use on your pump guns. Another popular one, for especially for daisy users, is 30 weight non-detergent. Now it says non-detergent and daisy wants you to use that. Um, I just get a generic bottle like that. You can buy them in sets. They work great. Yes, it looks like a mustard bottle, but it works great for holding that 30 weight. And that's what we want to use. Now, let me explain quickly why they want to, why, how this works with this, the oil and how it works sealing in air pressure. Okay, so this is the tube. It's inside your gun. You'd have to take it apart to look at that. And there's another video coming up where we'll do that. But you see it's very polished, very clean in there. And so your seals have a smooth ride. Okay, so that's the inside of your tube. This, in a barrel assembly from an 880, that's the back of the tube. So what happens here is when it's on here inside your gun, it locks on there and makes it air, airtight on the back. And then your pump head comes across the front. And we're going to get to that. It's right here. And, and gets in there and locks it in from the front and seals it in. So the whole idea with this engine oil, they feel this is the best. The pros feel this is the best. There are people out there who believe you should only use silicone on your gun. Well, that's fine for spring piston air guns there's argument for that but the pros say that for pumpers we need to use this um, many days users feel that the 30 weight's the best way to go because they feel it lasts longer and it seals in the air pressure this is a common problem people don't know how to lube their guns they don't know what lube to use and so i want to address that right away so let's go ahead and take a look at the gun okay so right there there's obviously that, that um, felt pad, it's also called a wiper, and you put three to four drops of pell gun oil or 30 weight on there. Um, the 30 weight obviously has a more aggressive head on it, so just watch it, you don't want to drown it, you just definitely want to tell it's getting oil in there. But um, otherwise, think three to four drops, just enough you can tell that it's getting a good oiling, and then uh, lock it up. So you close it, and the whole idea is when you're pumping it, when this is being pumped, is that you build up air pressure. Okay, how do you know, especially if you're new to this, how do you know if your gun's not, not working? Okay, when you're pumping, if on the downstroke, when you come all the way up, all the way up, and then down, if you are not getting pen tension here, about down here, when you were at five or six pumps, you have a, a leak. People call them a leak, it's not blowing your air pressure, whatever works for you. Okay, so. I've had guns that simply out of the box were not holding the air pressure. They hadn't been properly lubed. You use either one of those, a 30 weight or that Pelgun oil. And I uh, had a gun recently right out of the box. I thought it was a lemon, but because I learned from pros that have a lot of years of experience, I put Pelgun oil on every single seal in the DAISY 880. It's just on that felt pad. Make sure you give it a good soaking. And it, you should feel tension build up in just a few just a few pumps and then you're good that you're you're done meaning that you, you've solved your problem on one of my pump rifles as soon as i gave it a heavy, heavy lubing which it needed and it wasn't lubed right at the factory i didn't have any more problems with it okay let's say that doesn't work for this gun the 77 xs it did not work um i heard hissing when i lubed it heavily with the 30 weight i eventually did that and i heard a lot of hissing and then i learned a little trick of putting my ear right here now this gun's partly disassembled i took the forearms off for this demonstration Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Okay, this really, I actually did it with this gun. Okay, I heavy lubed it, still it's not working right. It's not working like my other gun. So what do we need to do? We need to change out the pump seal head. So how are we going to do that? Okay, so I'm going to put the forearm back on here. And 
demonstrate. Okay, now I don't believe that the viewer needs to see me unscrew a screw. There's a screw right there, and the forearm on the other side has a screw in it. So you undo that, you undo this screw on the other side, and you do this to both sides. And then you wiggle out. Don't pull hard back, because you can break the receiver right here. It's plastic. Don't want to break that. So you just carefully wiggle it out and pull it out. And you do that on the other side also. Now, a lot of people don't know, know what to do with this pin right here. There's a pin, and they think they have to hammer it out. Don't do that. This is the frame of your gun, like the spine of your gun. And if you start hammering on it, you could damage it. You don't want to hammer it. You don't need to do that. So for this basic fix, if lubing did not solve your problem, which for many many of you, about probably 60, at least 60% of you, a decent lube with decent oil, will either one of these two that I'm showing you will do it. But let's say that didn't work, so you have to do what I had to do with this 77. So you pop up that pin. It's very good engineering. It just comes right out. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate with this. Get, let me get set up here. All right. Okay. So, all right, we took out the forearms on both sides, wiggle out the forearms, took out the retaining uh, pin. So then you just pull and it just comes right out. Watch out, you're going to have some loose pieces. There we go. The loose pieces came out. So there are two wheels on a pin. And I would advise you to use white plastic. There's a white plastic garbage bag. This works really, really well. So go ahead and use this. Okay. So now there's your pump head. Okay. So we're going to show you how to do this. I have not seen any other videos that do a good job showing this other than for one pistol. There was a guy changing one on a 717, but not for the 880. Okay. We're going to say this, this, this um, seal right here on the head is compromised. We tried oiling it. It wasn't enough. It just came compromised from the factory, and I had that had that problem with this gun. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Okay, so we're gonna say this is a bad seal head. It actually isn't, but we're gonna go ahead and pretend like it is. We're gonna be careful. We're gonna get in there. We're gonna pull up and up over the top. There we go. Pop right off. Okay, so for this video, we're gonna say, "Oh, that's a bad one." So we toss it. Okay, now this is a seal kit from Daisy. You can get this from Daisy. They're one buck. You can load up on individual O-rings for about 25 cents. Um, again, you go through their website, uh, Daisy. You go in, you uh, click on or, or touch, if you have a phone, obviously, we'll say click. But click on contact, click on customer form, click on uh, parts. They have, actually have a, a box there for uh, gun parts. Uh, and then you uh, in the comments box ask for the list and price list for the 880 I would say 901 and 352 and they'll send you a PDF so that has and I'll show you that okay so that's what you do there you go through the website you go to Daisy for that very cheap prices you can get it other places but that won't be Daisy the gals in the part department the uh, parts department there will do a good job for you okay so the old seals toast and so we need to put a new seal on there so we get it out of the kit all right, and now you don't use a tool. You only just use your hand. I would go ahead and start, start it off in life by putting some Pell gun oil on it, like this. So you just, there we go. And you just work it in there, like the pros say. Give it a good start in life. So it's a brand new seal, right out of the, right out of the bag, and we put it on there, like that. There you go. You got a brand new seal. And for me personally, on the gun I'm demonstrating on, that solved all my problems. I wasn't getting accuracy or power. And after I did this, that all changed. Okay, so now let's put it back together. All right. So we take the hollow end, face it towards the pump. Put that in here. Get the pin. Don't confuse it with the, with the pin to the frame. So it's a, that pin right here. Okay, put it in there. Make sure that that gets in there correctly. All right, now it's loose parts. You have these wheels. These wheels are the guide inside the frame of the gun so it pumps smoothly. You have to hold that with your fingers. You're gonna have to hold it like that. So now we're gonna put it back together. All right, so holding that, we're gonna go ahead and put that back in there. Let's go ahead and scoot that a little closer. All right, so we put the pump head back in there. And then hold on to those wheels. Don't let those wheels go. Okay, so pick it up a little bit. Get those wheels in there. Just pump up, line up that pump with your tube. If you notice there, there's a there's a tube right there. You want to line that up right there. 
So, okay, so I got it all lined up. The wheels are in there, and then I choke up on it. So we go like this, we, we fold it up like that, and then we push. You push. Make sure that your pump your pump head is lined up though. Okay, so push in there. There we go. There. And don't cock your gun while you're doing this. If you do that, you'll it'll resist you. It'll load air and it'll resist you. Don't cock your gun while you're doing this. Okay. So now we're ready to go. So I'm gonna pick pick this guy up. All right. So then we get the pin, and we put it back in. There we go. And then we close up the pump. And you put your forearms back on. Remember, not hard on the receiver. Just jiggle it in there so it fits under there. There you go. And put your screw back on each side. So I don't don't feel the viewer needs to see me uh, change out a screw. So there you go. Now I can tell you that these two fixes for most people having immediate problems with their gun will take care of it. It will absolutely take care of it. Um, if Now there, I'm going to make a later video for more serious problems. But for most people, they need to know what lube to use. Or to 30 weight and you need to know what head to change this is a brand new gun now for years i actually for a few years i struggled because i didn't know now this is working better than ever so you, you lube the head the seal head on your pump correctly as i showed at the beginning if it doesn't work you outright change it out and you use if you don't have pell gun oil use your 30 weight to lube it up and this gun's perfect now. It's in perfect shooting condition, and I didn't have to take apart the whole gun. The beauty of the 880 engineering, I just had to take this one part out. Scope's in place, receiver's in place. This gun's awesome, ready to go. Okay, well, I look forward to doing another video on more serious problems with the 880. Okay, well, thank you. Uh, happy shooting.